Hello everybody, my name is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com as well as host for Resurrect the Republic RTR Truth radio broadcast on RBN Network. I wanted to draw your attention tonight to some more individuals, uh, Syrians, have been wounded. This happened October, it was reported October the 24th, and of course lamestream media will not tell you about this because they were... Uh, civilians that were wounded by the so-called rebels, moderate rebels that the corrupt United States government supports. I'm not going to go over and name all these names because obviously I will chop them up and I don't want to do that. But I want to remember, I want to remind everybody, please keep the citizens, the civilians in your prayers. Please understand that the U.S. government, the corrupt politicians, that they are guilty of treason against not only the United States, but they are also guilty of war crimes. They have no right to be inside of Syria at all. That is an invasion. They are arming, supporting, training, and funding terrorist groups, factions, individuals, and arming them with things such as man pads such as surface to air missiles such as guns and ammunition such as rocket launchers this is not a joke it is unlawful it is illegal it is considered treason via US code and it must stop so what the mainstream media is not going to tell you is 15 people were wounded in an attack um, the terrorists are part of the so-called, quote, Army of Conquest, and they used rocket-propelled grenades on Sela Alden neighborhood in the city of Alpeo. Uh, there was also a source in the Alpeo police headquarters that stated that, quote, the terrorists hold up in the eastern neighborhoods of the city of Alpeo targeting mornings Sala Houdin neighborhood with a number of rocket propelled grenades what caused of course 15 injuries the source also indicated that the terrorist attack caused material damage to homes and property of citizens I'm going to leave a link to the article below let this uh, just so you understand you will probably have to hit translate um, I had to hit translate because this is actually not in in English this is actually the the government site so I want to make individuals aware that people are dying there because of the individuals that are corrupt politicians like Hillary Clinton and President Barack Obama and the other individuals that support this Lindsey Graham um, John McCain the list is very long and certainly these individuals need to be held accountable for treason why do I say treason because we know that they have admitted and openly arm fund and train these terrorists these terrorists have been caught uh, the quote-unquote rebels if you will have been caught um, beheading 12 year old children uh, or it was either 12 or 10 year old child either way the age of doesn't matter um, the ones that our government is arming training supporting funding and trying to protect and willing to go to World War III for is to protect Al Qaeda. Al Qaeda, Amr al Sharia, Mujahideen, ISIS, ISIL, um, you name it, they're all part of it. And it is uh, our corrupt politicians are um, trying to help the Muslim Brotherhood as much as they can to install them into power, which thank God it did not work in Egypt. Good for you, for the Egyptians that. Uh, got uh, that piece of crud out of there that was installed by our corrupt government but I want to show you just what I'm talking about 18 US code 2381 is the treason code and this is what it says whoever owing allegiance to the United States okay I'm sorry but our senators our congressmen our president Hillary Clinton when she was in office and Secretary of State supposedly owe allegiance to the United States levies were against them or adheres to their enemies 
giving them aid and comfort within the United States or elsewhere, is guilty of treason and shall suffer death, or shall be imprisoned not less than five years and fined under this title, but not less than $10,000, and shall be incapable of holding any office under the United States. So I don't know how much simpler it can get. You are military. I love you very much. I really do. But you need to start following your duty to disobey. If it is not a lawful order, then you are not supposed to follow it, no matter even if it comes from the President of the United States of America. And you can find that in the Iran-Contra hearings, as well as Nuremberg trials. You need to start saying no. We will not be a part of an invasion or be a part of treason. Arming, funding, training, and protecting terrorists so that you can try to overthrow the president of a sovereign nation is no excuse. It is treason. Please share this far and wide. Thank you. God bless you. And as always, watch your backs and check your facts. God bless you and good night.